Chấm điểm số. Hello everyone, Virginia Tad here, and I welcome you back to this VOKK TV series to rediscovering and preserving the Khmer Krom identity. In today's video, let's delve into the impactful words of President Biden during his recent address at the 78th session of the UNGA, the United Nations General Assembly at the UN headquarters in New York City on September 19, 2023. President Biden's speech wasn't just a series of words. It was a powerful echo of the enduring significance of the UDHR, Universal Declaration of Human Rights. He painted the UDHR as a document and a guiding light of collective hope. As we ponder this historical manuscript, it becomes evident that its principles should transcend rhetoric and manifest as tangible actions, especially for nations like Vietnam, currently serving on the Human Rights Council. Crafted 75 years ago by a diverse committee, the UDHR embodies a shared commitment to fundamental human rights. President Biden's emphasis on these rights universality and timeless relevance serves as a poignant reminder of their crucial role in propelling global progress. Yet, this reflection is complete with acknowledging the persistent struggles in upholding individuals' equal and inalienable rights. In the Mekong Delta of Vietnam, the Khmer Krom community faces relentless challenges in claiming their rights particularly advocating for religious freedoms. President Biden's call to address global abuses resonates profoundly in the context of the Khmer Krom activists who, despite peacefully distributing UN documents and advocating for religious rights, find themselves subject to arrests and interrogations. It's a stark contradiction for a member of the Human Rights Council to engage in actions that suppress the very rights the council aims to protect. President Biden's words underscore the universal importance of ensuring equal rights and protection from discrimination for women, indigenous groups, racial and ethnic minorities, people with disabilities, and the LGBTQI plus community. Vietnam's treatment of Khmer Krom activists contradicts these principles stifling their potential through systemic discrimination and hindering their right to advocate for religious freedoms. As President Biden rightly pointed out, the loss of these rights anywhere is felt everywhere. It undermines the shared humanity we aspire to uphold. In an appeal echoing the president's message, we implore Vietnam to reconsider its approach. Arresting activists for peacefully distributing UN documents and summoning them for advocating religious rights violates international standards and contradicts the spirit of collective hope embodied in the UDHR. As we navigate the complexities of our modern world, marked by diverse challenges, respecting human rights becomes non-negotiable. As a member of the Human Rights Council, Vietnam is called upon to demonstrate leadership in fostering an environment where the principles of the UDHR are acknowledged and actively protected. The Khmer Krom community's plea for recognition and the freedom to practice their religion aligns with the broader global effort to ensure no one is left behind. It is a plea for justice, equality, and preserving the shared humanity we all belong to. President Biden's speech serves as a powerful rallying call to embrace the ideas set forth in the UDHR actively. The international community, including Vietnam, must respond not just in words, but in deeds, ensuring that the rights of the Khmer Khmer community are safeguarded and their advocates are not persecuted for their noble pursuit of equality and justice. In doing so, we contribute to the collective hope 
envisaged by the framers of the UDHR 75 years ago. So, makun, jamdiplia. Thank you.